thought we were done with Kashik. Oh man, back to the taint fur. But this tainted fur claw mad shithole br brings us back once again. They murdered everybody that wasn't like them, but did they leave things? No, they didn't. Okay. Nah. Uh, Why are we back? Because we have to kill Rulin, the shapeshifter. Why? Because he's a cunt or can, some can shit. Get no hard ons, man. You part of the crew or not? I'm sure I sure am. Who yeah, we gotta he? kill Rulin. Rulin. He's down near Jolie's hut. Oh, um, let me check in something. In the Shadowlands. Out. Someone said something about about giving that super strong bowcaster to um to to HK. So three ten. Okay, let's, let's scroll it. Chundar's bowcaster three twelve. Yeah, that's super good. All right, give him the bowcaster. Now you got the big bowcaster. Wow. Look now, yeah, you, here. like. Only Wookiees can use it because they're strong, but if you're, but if you're, a, if robot, you're a robot, you're way physically strong. So then, what? Why would that be a problem? Oh, shopkeeper. You're dead. Are you a shopkeeper now? No. no. Damn, it'd be really, really video gamey and awesome if a Wookiee just stood there and sold shit now from I now on. I took this from the human. You I can buy a med pack for 40. I took this from the human and give you a discount. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Over the blood stains on all the, the shields. It's just a little dinged up, man. Don't worry about it. So way the fuck down by Jody's spot, huh? Yeah, that's right. It's way out there. Oh, I love how you said Jody because we're talking about Beyond Two Souls just now. What? You said Jody. What's his name? Jolie. Jolie. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You excited for Detroit, buddy? Big excited for Detroit. Jo Jody Bindo. Oh. Jody Bindo Holmes. Fuck. There it is. Yeah. Oh, it's up. Shadowlands is up, isn't it? I, I don't remember. Quick, check your map. It's so important. No, it was past him. You have to, you have to get on the elevator. And the elevator's past him. Right? Wait, well, look, look, look. Sh oh, you were super right. I'm super wrong. Yeah. Damn it. I'm wrong again. You think it'll ever stop? David like, Cage? No, I mean Why? like when I'm old, like I'll, I'll have wisdom and shit. I, that doesn't... Like, what? No! Have you not seen <laughs> crazy ass coot old men? Yeah, they're, they know what they're talking about. Where you just kind of like sit and wait for them to like fade into dust. Like you look at that old man and you're like, that guy's not gonna die. Oh, you mean like <laughs> he's just gonna get blown away into sand. Oh, you mean like you're the, that old. The ending of fucking uh, like the ending of fucking Zardoz. Yeah, sure. Have you sure. seen that shit? No, but oh, I believe so, it. It's so crazy, man. I believe it. Sean Connery and the woman hold hands, and then they just time lapse into skeletons. Sure, sure. It's so nuts. Yeah, no, there's some people that are- some old men are so old that that's how you're going out. And quite frankly, uh, you know. That's- that should have happened to Altair in fucking Brotherhood. Yeah, well, I mean, Ezio- didn't. Revelations, whatever. Ezio didn't get it super great, but, you know. No, he did. I mean, his- his thing was- it was regal, but it he was- He was all hot and old and stuff. But what I- yeah, but I mean, like, when it came down to it, the moment, you know. It was all about like, oh fuck, this wasn't about you at all. Oh no, man, he had later moments in the games that you didn't play because you were smart. Oh no, they they fucking went pat. They they bossed him, dude. There were so many Ezio games. Do you not remember? No, no, no. But the last Ezio game ends on a note where it's like the last things Ezio did were him discovering how little of um, how much oh, he yeah. was not of importance. But then, but then he got married and had kids in the animated movie Embers. After that? Yes. But that was him sitting in the- You shut your mouth. He was supposed to die there. No, no, he was not. Oh, no. Oh, Ezio's like 75 and he ends up dating like a 20-year-old. But that was his resting place. No, it wasn't. For no, you're it was no. for Desmond. No. You're confusing the games, oh, Wooly. Jesus Christ. I, so where's Jolie's fucking house? This is it right here. All right, so he's around here some shit. I, I, I dropped the fuck off of that. Hell yeah, you did. Don't worry about that. Well, Bayek is cool, you say, right? So... Bayek's super cool. Yeah, I guess I can go figure that out at some point. Pass Jolie's hut to the right. Roar, war! Hey, Roar, war. Hey, Roar, war. You got away from our kind by murdering all of them. Okay, or that. Yes. I am Guar, Roar, Roar. I am Free Wolf. Freeman. Yeah, Guar, Guar, Roar, Freeman. Leave me be, human. 
Don't you recognize me as your hero? The one who led your people to... Okay. Well, okay. Interesting turn of events here. I see. Unexpected. Goodbye, Guar War. Wookie names are the worst. Uh, yeah. I mean, we had one to go off of, right? Chewy. And then that became Chewbacca, which is like, that's an okay space name, I guess. Yeah, and Chewbacca, you because that's still, because it has the word Baca in it, which says, like, very, like, ooh, Chewbacca. You know, you can see that as yeah. a Star Wars But it's thing. like, oh, hey, it's Chewy. Hey, it's me, Chewy. But then to get it into Roar War and Roar, Roar, Roar. Oh, take it right here. Take it right. Yeah, that's right. Pretty sure that's where the guy's and at. Roar, it's like, all right, guys. Yeah. Shundar. Where the fuck is this asshole? God, fucking. Okay. <laughs> Where the you tell me what I'm thinking right now looking at this vine. Read my mind, Pat. Oh, uh, fucking hop on that shit. Slash Angie Nath. <laughs> <laughs> Get his ass. <laughs> you fucking run after that vine, getting ready to press circle. Oh, you man. Piece of shit. Don't worry about it. That's where I'm at. Where the fuck is this jerk ass? I don't know, dude. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm keep, gonna haul one. Keep running around. I'm gonna haul one while I think I'm about looking it. at Geno Hardons. How do I find this? He's on the part of the Shadowlands that you first enter right after you get off the elevators. He's past Jolie's hut at the lower right corner. He looks like Wookiee and is by a fire. Hey, Basil Goose. Oh, that was the guy. Oh, that was The Wookiee we talked to. So we just gotta keep pestering him? I guess you just keep pestering him. Oh, uh, it's behind you. There. I think. Hey, Basil Goose, I'll pay you a hundred bucks to fuck off. Nah, man. <laughs> it's that nigga you love to hate, Basil Goose! Oh, for real. <laughs> Hello, Grar. Uh... Oh. I'm- I'm disturbing you. I'm disturbing you. Oh. I'm here to disturb. Huh. Bug him again. Look at this disturb. It's possible you might actually have to be alone. Alright. Let's see if you can swap your party. Oh my god. Let's can't. just do this. Does that work? Oh my god, what the fuck? How do we kill this motherfucker? Well, first of all, he's Gwar War. And Around him there will be a corpse. Pick it up and there will be a data pad. Oh, you might want to yeah, turn yeah, solo yeah. mode off. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I the see. Corp the corpse, the corpse is, is it, new. That's it's it's back there. Yeah, I, I didn't investigate it because I, I thought it was old. Yeah, or was it? It it's, did run past. Yeah, it. you run past it. It's around here somewhere. There it, there is. it is. Yeah. Parts, what? credits, parts and credits. That's parts clearly not the right corpse. Uh, there was maybe other corpses. Up, 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 up. Nope. Maybe past him. Oh, yeah, on his other no, side. No, 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 there was nothing passing. I'm gonna do it one more time, but, like, I'm pretty sure. There's just this little fire. And then... that was it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go... Find more dead bodies. More... more... war. More war... war... Well, there it is! That's a dead Wookiee. You got his data pad. Good job. Let's read the data pad. He's gonna be like, a shapeshifter killed Talk me. Talk to me. Tell me your name. We were fools to come down here, all of us. How can we hope to capture an enemy that can assume any shape, any form? We lost two the first day, and another three disappeared after that. Our enemy's bloodlust knows no limits. We found Grarwar's body last night. What was left of it? If we do not leave the Shadowlands soon, I fear we will become victims of the Faceless One. So this is probably what you'd get if you never even met that guy, and you just came back here? I, I think getting that, I think... Creates this quest? Yeah, I think okay. this shit, because I don't remember this guy being here before. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, good job. You've, you've, you you will avenge Guar. Can we just assume? Wah, 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 wah. Can we just assume, or do we have to activate? You probably have to activate him. Be like, hello. You're not actually Guar. Are 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 you? Hello. I see my Gendo heart on. According to the data pad that I found, Guar is a dead person. Uh, you gotta, so you have uncovered my little you secret. Gotta confront him. No matter, this body has grown tiresome to me. Maybe I, I can find a better body. I smell like pubes. I'm basically a huge pube. Shapeshifting is awesome, but like, yeah, that's a got something on your mind, dude. Oh. Okay. How dumb does your character <laughs> have to be? Jolie can be in your party. I mean, I mean, I, like, that's such a old 80s, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Confused Oh, you're guy. in your buff war off. 
It did. Oh, great buff there. All right, let's get up there. Just slash him. He'll, he'll probably just die. Yeah, see, he's, he's just gonna die. What? Oh, he turned into a into a thing. That's cool. And he's still dead. Look at you. This is a cool you. fight, but I, I appreciate. He is very weak and shitty compared to your baller party. I appreciate the fact that he had more than one form. He turned into attack. Did you kill him? He he seems to be dead. But where's the proof? Yeah, he turned into attack, and I heard. Uh, he might be around here. I think I gotta keep the fight going. I like that. Good. I was like, if we just have to kill Joe Lee and then he goes away, that would be the laziest version of this ever. But, like, if you're fighting a shapeshifter, it should be interesting. But Is that him? To the right? The, on the floor there. To the your corpse? left. Yeah, see the- oh, that's rocks. Like, that's the same corpse, and then that's some rocks. Yeah. Um... Shapeshifters are always, uh, like, really weak, though. Yeah. They're always, like, morph, where it's like, you're really pathetic. Otherwise. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Martian Manhunter. He's super weak and shitty. Um, but, like... And the biggest loser. Well... Suck it. Sure. But, like, yeah, if you're, like, actually, like, tough and resilient, but also a shapeshifter, you'd be super unstoppable. What are you looking for, buddy? Just making sure I didn't get any, like... No, no, you gotta go guys. find... You gotta find the tax. Start interrogating them. Yeah, well, these are totally corpses. And because you fucking genocided the tax in this place, there should be very few of them. I'll find you, you damn little bastards. I'm almost starting to feel guilty with how many of these items I'm not using, but then I remember, like, RPG. Don't worry, man. Did you at any point sell any of your items? Like, once. Okay. And I've never been that hard up for cash. Anymore. Yeah, so, at some point, you're gonna... Yeah, keep, just keep wandering around. You'll find... Find all those little bastards. Oh, there's some. Look at these little bastards. Ah. Look at them. Maybe you kill it, it'll revert to. Oh, form. this is this is a nice test for your fucking dark side points. Kill it. It is obvious now that it wasn't. <laughs> How many more of these will you must you slaughter? The mission is the mission. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, this it's really, is great. It's super good. Yeah! Yay. You killed, uh... I got you, bitch! Got you, bitch. That's fun. That's a fun way to do it. You got 500 credits. Fantastic. Hey, where'd those other ones go? That might be Rulin. Nah, man. Rulin! Nah, they disappeared, man. It's all De good. No! Don't worry about it, man. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. They could all be ruling. So obviously this entire quest chain is just feeding you a shit ton of dark side That's energy. That's really interesting. Um, because, like... So I guess they just gave me the quest thing. Yeah. yeah. Now the Ruin is dead. Next up is Vorn. And much as we remember from the Shadowlands, you are not allowed to teleport away because this entire planet is a massive shithole. I was really hoping for a second that maybe I'd get away with it, but yeah. Honestly, the way that it should work is once you depopulate an area of enemies, it allows you to teleport out or some shit. Sure. Sure. Is there any other, like, hold up? Oh, container's empty. Is left not the... Let's, let's find out. Left is basket up. Yes. But hey, whatever. At least there's nobody in your way. I mean, there. I feel like there must be loading reasons, you know? I'm going to assume that's totally the reason. As you decide. Bye, HK. Let's check these new corpses. No! Yeah, what do you want? I want... Your choice. I want to fucking... Tell me about fucking Star Wars, yeah. Kando. Tell me about the Zelnaga. Tell me about... So I did some research. Yeah, those Force-sensitive Cthulhu motherfuckers. Sorry, Force-immune force Cthulhu guys coming from the out of the, the end of the, the world. The Yuzan Vong. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking crazy. It's, no, it's crazy. It's yeah. like a whole race of like... And I, I believe that there was something about them there where they said like they were originally super attuned to the force, and then it got ripped off of them. And so every moment is agony, and like living and being born into pain was a thing where that just became central to their race. And eventually, they're like, the only way to, to process this level of pain and agony is to fetishize it. Cool. That's our whole culture now. Bam. And then they just turned into um, uh, Hellraisers, pinheads. Great. And the rest of that shit. Take that. So, there's a lot of crazy Force shit in the fucking uh, expanded universe. There's a fucking guy in KOTOR 2 that, um, essentially got horribly murdered, but it hurt so bad that he figured out, like, wait a second, 
all this pain and agony is giving me a shit ton of dark side energy. So maybe I can just hold my body together with force push all the time. Oh boy. And it, it hurts so bad that it's self-sustaining. And so he's basically a force zombie. But he's just pushing all his shit together at all oh, times. Oh. His actual physical body. is like disintegrating. Oh my god. I mean, like, it was bad enough watching <laughs> the fucking Obi-Wan fight with, uh, Starkiller. Oh, yeah. You remember that? Oh, no. Go watch the Obi-Wan Star- go fight- fight Starkiller mm. thing mm. In, in- in Force Unleashed. Oh, it's yeah. the most over-the-top fucking stupid shit What about Obi-Wan? He murders his real body, and then the ghost comes out immediately. <laughs> uh, it's- yeah, it's this way. What actually. about when, uh, Obi-Wan fought Darth Maul again? <sighs> 20 years later in the Tatooine with, Desert with in the, Star Wars Rebels. With the Robo Legs. By the way, that is now. Everything in Rebels is canon. Hyper canon. So, like. Fuck. But yeah. There's some dumb shit in there. No, no, but you need what you, you oh, need man. to go watch that cutscene. Oh, yeah. And you need to see Starkiller kill living Obi Wan yeah. by blowing, by shooting him, in, like cutting him up with a lightsaber and shooting him into like a jet engine. Oh. And oh, then, wow. and then, like, when the fight, he thinks the fight's over, and then Ghost Obi-Wan is like, Nah, son! Round two! <laughs> is this what you meant by becoming more powerful than you could ever imagine? Oh, dude, it's crazy. Wasn't the whole point of that line, is that non-violent force of wisdom is stronger than any particular sword or gun? No, it, should be, it just means that the only way to become a stand user is to die first. Oh, fuck, if it was that easy, man. And then you're your own stand. I could be my own stand. I have one of those shitty, like, non-attack stands. It's just causing a passive, constant effect on my body. But is hey, it can we upgrade that Chundar fucking uh, bowcaster? Maybe. What, um... Fucking... But is it one of those... Nah, no, I can't. Only Zalbars. It's just super good. Zalbars is 17 to 20. No, 33 to 12, rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty much the same. Chundar's is better, because yeah, Chundar's just... the best. No! Oh. Oh, 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 careful, Pockets. Pockets fast. running around confused at the, on the Ebon Hawk at light speed. Yeah. Um, what, uh... What was that next one? Uh, was... Tatooine. We gotta go to the Crate Dragon uh, hole. We gotta hole with the Crate Dragons. Crate. Over, over Tatooine. Oh man, Star Wars is so fucking... Like... How do I put this? Hey man, they're the e e e e e walks. You ever see that? No, I have not. Children's spin-off cartoon for the Ewoks. Fuck. That was a super thing, and I Fuck. remember it. I seen it with my own was eyes. Was it I super? Did. It was. A, it was a fuck. Because you said it was a super thing. Yeah. Did you mean to say that was super a thing? That that's what I meant. <laughs> we we. It's like. We, yeah, we use super like the term dead ass, you know, it just oh, yeah. means that it, it's, it's a thing. So, I think I, I've, I've zoned in and zoomed in on what I find the most disappointing about the nature of canon in Star Wars. Is that because Star Wars was just a couple movies, and then people were given the license to write about it, it became like astonishingly broad. Yes. It became extremely wide. Yes. In both time and, and subject matter, right? Yes. You had everything from Jedi Outcast and Dark Forces. I had a thought that I didn't go into earlier, but you might to, be going there. To uh, Uzong. Uh, Uzong Vaughn. Uzong Vaughn. You had that fucking blue guy, Admiral Thrawn, all that oh, shit and, that and, I think is stupid. And, but uh, whatever, that's still a thing. Don't forget Fu Manchu. You have this, right? Yeah. Um, and then uh, the prequels came out. And that fucked up, like, a little bit, but most of the EU was actually after the first set of movies, right? Okay, so everyone in the comments has been yelling about how the dates keep changing on this release versus the prequel trilogy. Don't worry about that. So, we clearly have no it's, idea. It's fine. And forget Don't the worry fact about that you've got a piece of computer in front so, of you. Hey, man, it's a fucking... What, you know what, I'll just look it up right now. Sure. This came out... But, like, but get, to, get to your point, um, because I But now I, I with thoughts. the new movies taking place in the future of that and invalidating uh, the stuff... Um, it has now become, because of the nature of the uh, Last Jedi and uh, not a New Hope, Christ, uh, Force Awakens, but might as well be a New Hope. Star Wars has now been shockingly narrowed to like five things. Okay. Ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that sucks. Uh, so 
it sucks, and it's also understandable. Yeah, I get it for a movie fan. Because for someone who buys a giant franchise that large, they realize there's no way to write a story moving forward without contradicting oh, everything. Again. All that crazy one shit. One version of a book, right? Good hunting and so, oh, wow, fucking Star Wars Episode One came out in 99. Yeah, okay. That's crazy. So, and you know what? I, I knew that in my head somewhere. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you're totally right, and I know that. There's no way Disney could have looked at it and said, we're gonna make a piece of canon, like, into the future that's gonna, like, somehow not contradict but, eight things. But I guess, I guess part of the problem is that because EA has the Star Wars license, and because all the Star Wars books I've seen are, like, retellings of the movies, or, like, addendums, like, whatever, like, oh, here's what the real episode three was in book form, it's got big Darth Maul on the foot, right? Um, and then there's Rebels, and I just feel like, no matter what, like, we still lost, like, 20 years of cool shit, and haven't had anything replace it yet. Yeah, there's a lot of not cool shit in that group as well, don't forget that. Oh! Um, oh, I know. I very... I, but, but, but... I appreciate, I appreciate, like, when people don't play it safe and keep doing the same thing. I'll get right? past these idiots. Yeah, they're, I'm, I'm just... They're stupid. Um... Uh, like, there's no Star Wars RPG that, that fills in the and, and, like, fucking Old Republic is in the weirdest fucking place ever. So... In which it's still being ma used and maintained and actively run... Oh, God damn ...as it. explicitly uncanon. What? Uh, so that's, that's incredibly weird. That, I, that <laughs> never will stop being the weirdest thing. But... And it's only because it's an MMO, so it's ongoing. Yeah, and people want that, but sure. Um, and, and as long as you throw a word like legends on it, right, then it's like, eh, sure. It's, it's whatever hearsay you want it to be. Because when you create a universe that has the potential can of- you, Can you pick up their plates? No, no. Yeah, you can. It says remains. Oh. They weren't worth much in the end, though. Yeah, right? you're right. You're, they were worth almost nothing. Which sucks, because the word plate after killing the monster and taking it is usually worth a lot. Congrats, you got a wraith- a death wraith, desert wraith plate. Now you can make the desert wraith set. What are those called? I, they're not called. Oh, it's that one past that. That's the sand people that goes to the. Because plates one. are what you always want. Yeah, you want plates, gems, man. Uh, anyway, so the whole thing though, it was that to me, I'm gonna be beating a dead horse a little bit. But yeah, beat that fucking dead I, horse. I, I, what I always didn't like is anything that was a Star Wars story that didn't want to like change or like write things too differently because i'm like you have a world with so much potential and so much you can create here but you're just gonna do another canteen you know you're just gonna do another cantina scene you're gonna do another uh imperial takeover you're gonna, you're gonna focus on the army yeah gonna, you, rich evans actually uh you're doing the same shit you uh, know? in one of the reviews of like force awakens they're the last jedi over uh, at red lighter media over, yeah that, that way it okay. talks about like this is what Star Wars is. Star Wars is the evil Jedi and the bad and the good Jedi. And I'm like, and Star Wars is the uh, uh, Ill, evil military force versus this that and a dashing sucks, pilot. Man. And like that's all it is. And, and it's like even this game is way more than that. The potential, while including those archetypes, the potential is so high, and that's why I always was like so fucking interested, and they keep going on about. 1313. Oh, yeah, Because man. everything about that, that was, like, been cool, man. visiting the world of potential, but not necessarily doing the same shit. Admittedly, getting into the dank, like, uh, underbelly has something we've seen before, but, like, it being, like, a proper, like... Hey, where is this motherfucker? What's this guy's name? Vorn? Uh, it was, uh... Yeah, Vorn. Yeah, but it, it, you know, really getting to the, like... I, like, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say something stupid like, like, The Wire, but I definitely would want to see something like, almost like a cop sort of, like, crime drama taking place in that way. Um, or in the undercover pits and whatnot. Like, there's so much of what they describe 1313 to be that I was like, that's interesting! We haven't done that! Was Amy Hennig writing that? I don't remember. I don't remember. And then the fact that it possibly had a tie into Boba Fett was also cool. But either way. Uh, he's not around this dragon cave, so unless there's another one... Wait, look, let's, let's... Let's read it again. You've been attracted to kill a Gamorrean. Hulus has warned you to be careful of his droid assault companions. Singular. Uh, and he's, uh... He's hunting crate dragons. So where do you hunt crate dragons? You hunt them by the cave, Oh, yeah? apparently, apparently he's in the fucking sand people map. Oh. Because I was gonna just talk to one of these cars. Yeah. Apparently you've talked to too many cars here. 
the that crate drag. Like, let's think about this. That crate dragon hole has like ten cars in front of it now, and I've, all the owners I've, are dead. I've killed you've, every one you've of them. Killed them all. But it's become a pretty sweet hangout for your. What car. was that noise? Check out my car. It's good. It reminds me of um, like that spot people go to in Montreal and they hang out with their cars. Mm. With a big orange tulip. Oh, that fucking thing. Yeah, they race their cars. That fucking and ugly then, ass eyesore off to carry that thing. But they they serve up julep and julep's not bad. Yeah, sure. And uh by the way, that orange thing is just a big fucking orange ball. We have a giant orange hanging out. Oh, and it's, it's so stupid. And they take oranges and they mix them with eggs, which is super gross sounding, but, but it hey, actually tastes it's sorry. A, it's it could be worse. And I as someone who hates Wait, eggs, these were not there last time. Yeah, they were. Were they? Oh, there's a fucking robot. Hey, look, there's this robot. Kill oh, it. We just starting it. Huh? Just kill the fucking robot. Bam. Okay. Well, done. can I can I do a anti droid thing? Yeah, let's see what happened. What, what was that? It was yeah. I am for sure. Yeah, yeah. Eat shit, and then do your buff. Yeah, let's see what happened. That dude just man, these all suck. Just hit these motherfuckers. All right, all right, all right. Uh. <laughs> I just wanted to use it for once. Oh, man. Nah, that's stupid. Why would you do that? Unless I can take it over. Yeah, you probably can. But let's, like... Oh, you have tons of repair parts. Oh, my God. See, because you don't have anything in repair. It will... Oh, it will now... It, it will, will now help my you aid. Yeah, there you go. I want to do it the fun way. All right. So, optimize his weaponry. Optimize his targeting. Uh, program the droid to seek out and attack Vorn. That's fun. I've got a ton of them. I can afford this. Yeah, fuck it. Do it. Patrol mode engaged. Once you end the <laughs> session, it will seek out and attack its old master. That's radical. All right, let's see where, is it, where it go. You're a good droid. All right. Moves off to engage Vorn. I guess... That, I, I think that's Oh, what it's I, just going to cutscene you. That's what I had to do, actually. But it's probably going to be too weak to actually take him out. Because I didn't spend... Oh! You clipped through the floor. Oh, don't worry about that. Is that another crate Dragon? Sure is. Wow, fucking baller. He's a badass. Or he had a lot of mines, like we did. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. What the fuck's going on here? What are you doing with my fucking assault droid, <laughs> motherfuckers? One of those piggy porcos was able to take him out. That's crazy. I'm gonna enjoy killing you, Vorn. Turn my own droid against me. Very clever. But it'll take more than a rogue assault droid to take down Vorn Dazrad. These things that were fed to the fucking Sarlacc. Kill this motherfucker. Are now able to. Oh, like, yeah. Wow. Oh, your buff ran out. Wowie wow. I'm impressed. I'm yeah, imp get your buff. This is the, the toughest of, of these fucking pig moblins ever. Oh, wow. Look, he big strong. Impressive. Very impressive. Um, what can I do? Uh, you can move him or slow him. If you want. Let's have some fun. Let's slow him down. Did that work? It didn't say save, so probably. Four on one, and he's hanging in there. Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. That helped. That helped a lot. Oh, I also uh, did some checking as to, like, what the point of, like, crit strike is. Crit strike's actually really good. It's a single strike, but if it hits, you'll stun anything. Sure. For a while. Hey, you got a data pad. Got the data pad. What's on the data pad? Uh, you're good to go, droid. It's the data pad, like, oh, I love the Geno hard on so much. Uh, the guild is restless. The hard ons are aid. The hard on agents are hunting. Soon they will come for me. Possibly Maybe for you. you. I plan to be ready. Ooh, who's the, you? Oh, the hard ons. Who are you talking to? Damn. It's it's impossible to know if he was gonna send it to somebody or somebody sent it to him. Well, I did kill three people, so oh, it's entirely man, possible. They were they were hanging out. Yep. 